Hey y'all, it's your girl J9Eve and I have just come here just to, to give some support to Diddy and let him know that he has not anything to worry about because he is about to have some company. Mr. Christian Keys, okay, this handsome fella we see on the screen, has gone to Instagram and bared his entire, entire soul. Minus a few names, but he gave the right amount of clues. One that ain't really a clue. It's, I mean, he might as well just drop that whole name. I mean, he gave the, that's the whole receipt. Okay, so, um, so he came to Instagram and bared his soul about being a actor, you know, in these here streets. You know what I'm saying? And he's an actor who has come up mostly from how we really learned of him mostly is we as in black community it's what i mean by we just so you know okay in a lot of tyler perry movies <laughs> it's a lot of tyler perry stuff okay one of those now if you like myself anything i say about tyler perry is not gonna sound shocking to you <laughs> it's gonna be like oh is it time is it time uh hmm, we've been waiting for this it's ridiculous this hasn't happened yet okay but he come along with some allegations, okay, some allegations, and bless his heart, is worried that, you know, the people are going to not believe him, which I think is so weird. <laughs> you don't think we're going to believe you? Of, of course we're going to believe you. It's, I mean, come on, like, the, I, this, come on. Come, come on, okay? He's concerned about that, but he come along and he said some things. We're going to, I'm going to play a couple, a little bit of the audio from... Um, his, you know, video or live stream, I think it was from a live stream, where he let everybody kind of know some things. Like uh, this particular part I'm about to play right now, I'm not sure which individual, but there's multiple individuals, okay? One of which sounds like and is being said, allegedly, it seems as if would be Tyler Perry, of course. The other, he said, the clue he gave was, he gave, he paid for the tuition of an entire class of an HBCU. Okay, so that is a guy named Robert Smith, who's <laughs> a billionaire, right? Yeah, so with that being said, I mean, you can look that up. Billionaire, paid, tuition, whole class, HBCU, Bam, there is face. <laughs> so that name, Bernie, I mean, he might as well just said it if he was going to say that. I mean, because duh, right? Because duh. All right. So he also names, a boy doesn't name, but he says there's a female also person who um, does, you know, questionable stuff. Like when he's walking by, will grab his package and say she can see his print. I have a feeling about who this is but i'm not gonna say i don't want to be the first one to say it but a person came to mind when i heard it and that's who i thought it was but we'll see who that turns out to be but it's just also to say that this kind of stuff is happening with the women as well and the men they're all into this weird ish and they all get in trouble at separate times you know what I'm saying? so but let's hear this first part just gonna get, get an idea of what's all kind of being said in this he was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was, when he requested them to be there. And clearly that's why it was, it felt to him that it was okay to say these things. And I, I really, I want to have these discussions. I want to be transparent with y'all about that. I've done my best to forgive this person, but it happens. It happens. Um, it's not just women that have to deal with it, but it's also men sometimes. That is a great point that he makes. A great point indeed. It is, remember, if you look, but remember back when Terry Crews, he was in um, White Chicks, you know, with the Wayans brothers, but he had came out and said, you know, these people in power or whatever, you know, had, you know, tried to assault him. And in that way, it, you know, and everybody was like, what? Like, who would do that? Because if you look at Terry Crews, it's like, literally, who would do that? Like, he, like, <laughs> he looks like he would demolish anything. But that's not the point. Like, that, that's the thing about power. 
People want power so that they can control. They don't get ginormous. They don't go to the gym and get super buff and get, you know, stints in their legs so they can be taller and bigger and intimidate people into doing things. They get power from money. Okay. They get money and then they get to wield it over your entire future. Not just you right now, but your whole future. They scare you basically out of your entire lifespan, you know, and there's guys literally have like no protection from this. And then they have the money for the lawyers, the attorneys, and then there you are in jail, in prison, and your future looks like ish. So, you know, this is a problem. This is a huge problem. So this right here is a big deal. But for me personally, like that one guy, that Robert Smith billionaire dude, he said one of the people he went to um, him to try to do like a business deal or whatever, like an investment um, opportunity. Because that guy deals in investing in businesses. So bam. Okay, so that's the story of him. So inside of this, he says that he went to this man to go and try to go over these things or whatever. He had this investment opportunity. The guy, after his um, lawyer or whatever, went left the room, um, he went and took him into a conference room, which he thought was fine, but he didn't know the conference room led into his suite. <laughs> Once he gets in there, the guy says he wants to take a shower. He goes, take a shower, come out, come out in a silk robe, giving very much Weinstein energy <laughs> and then and then he says he's gonna leave and the guy's like are you sure so apparent so clearly that's that guy because that's the investor guy okay so so the story he gives so many kind of stories he gives plenty of hints but the beautiful thing about this is he's been recording these people with secret devices so what we have here is what I would call a unicorn. The guy who what had the foresight, okay, to know what was going on because he experienced these things already. So he already just kind of know how to come in the room. I'm coming in with my sneaky shit, you know? <laughs> so he come in with like a pen with a recorder. He's playing spy, honey. I like it, Christian. I like it. We love receipts around here, okay? We love receipts. But he wanted to tell, he wanted to give it all up in that Instagram live. But he did not, did not. He did not say the names, but he might as well with the with the investor guy. I mean, he might as well have just said it. I mean, clearly that was, so you can look it up. He did, these are the, the, the clues were billionaire who paid the tuition of an entire class of an HBCU. Those are the clues. You look that up and only one person pops up. So clearly that's the guy and it matches the story about the him going to him for an investment opportunity. And he just finally has decided he's going to give it all up. He's going to tell it because there's a bunch of other people who did not have the foresight to walk away, who was okay with what he describes and always talks about is taking the scenic route. So now it's a little more clear why Christian always talks about in the journey to trying to, to have success and trying to build in the you know, to take the scenic route, to be okay with taking the scenic route. It's clear. This is the reason why he says that because people are always trying to get him to try to take that fast road that cost him his hind parts. Like that, <laughs> that's pretty much what it was, what he was saying. So it makes a lot more sense now. So, I mean, but if it is like it is, um, alleged, I won't say, I don't know if it's even alleged, but it's, it's being assumed or predicted that the other person that he's talking about is Tyler Perry. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but if it is, I'm not gonna have a shocked look on my face is what I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a picture of Tyler and I'm gonna tell you that, that he's straight and I want you to look at it, hear my words and not laugh, okay? <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Did you laugh? <laughs> Cause he's supposed to be straight. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna take your word for it. I guess. Okay. Okay. I mean, come on, but we don't, we will, I guess we'll have to wait. We'll all have to, we're all going to have to wait patiently. Okay. And assume until we find out in this Christian says something that I felt like was so simple. It was a very simple statement. You know, like sometimes somebody will say something and it's like, 
Oh, that's such a good point. When it should have been obvious, <laughs> that should have been obvious. But it's fine. If, if it took for it to be said like this for you to understand it, as long as you understand it now and you can process it, and that's great. But he says this thing, and I thought, you know, that's like the most basic but important and solid things to say. And it was this. Some of them are people who y'all like, oh yeah, such and such is amazing. And he does this and he does that. Yeah, but he also does this. Yes. I, um, at some point soon, it's gonna have to come out. I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone. I really do appreciate this. I like as long as everything comes out and he posts it, well, not post these things because he's going to turn them in. He says he's going to turn them into the police. So this isn't him trying to go to court. He says that he let the stat, he deliberately let the statute of limitations thing pass so that people wouldn't think this was some kind of cash grab thing. He says he's spoken to his lawyers though, like he's spoken to the attorney and they have assured him it, it doesn't matter if there's an NDA, it doesn't matter if it's a crime. If the thing you're reporting is illegal, it's not supported by an NDA, okay? And so he's going to just take it to the police and let, you know, them, I guess, do whatever it is that they do with it. There that is. So, I mean, I guess we'll just find out, hopefully shortly. <laughs> Mama don't got that there thing they call patience, okay? Y'all behave, okay? Because I'm not going to do it. Absolutely not. I just can't. I tried it once. It just doesn't suit me. I told you this, okay? But mama love you. Yes, she do. Peace.